A dog is recovering in an animal hospital tonight after being rescued from a home in North Tonawanda. Here is a picture of the emaciated dog. She was taken from a home over the weekend after police received an anonymous complaint of animal cruelty. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller has more on how the dog is doing and who may be responsible. The dog was super skinny. The worst I've ever seen. It was an anonymous tip that led animal control officers in North Tonawanda to this pit bull, Sam Sam. Police say she had been in a cage at a home on Oliver Street for at least a week with no food and no water. I walked in the door. The dog was in a cage filled with feces and urine from days. Eric Salisbury is the dog court officer in NT. He says he's never seen a dog in such bad shape. New tonight, 7 Eyewitness News has learned the name of the dog's owners, 40-year-old Joseph Barwick and 47-year-old Dorothy Adama. They are now charged with animal cruelty. Sam Sam was rushed to a local animal hospital for care. She definitely didn't deserve what she had done to her. Dr. Corey is caring for the dog. We can't disclose the animal hospital for privacy reasons. He says she's gained four pounds since she was brought in Saturday. We actually have to very slowly get her diet back to normal. Both Barwick and Adama were given a violation, which is common with an animal cruelty charge. New York is one of 13 states where there is no penal code for animal cruelty. A bill in the Senate would change that and enforce stricter penalties on those who neglect or abuse animals. Experts agree it's time. They should be fine. They should go to jail because the thing is, is, you know, a slap on the wrist. People don't view it as that bad because they don't think there's any repercussions of it and they're going to do it again. And unfortunately, we see that a lot is that people do it over and over again. And until people get punished the way that they should, you know, this is something we're going to see. Now, this dog needs a lot of care, and of course, that comes with a hefty price tag. There's a GoFundMe account that's raised more than $5,000 so far. We have a link to that on our WKBW app. The vet also tells me this dog will be receiving care for at least a month. Live in the studio tonight, Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.